All right, so I fixed the break, the crash, which was a sort of a bit of a sequence break. It loaded us into the wrong map where there wasn't any ability to fade in the screen and continue the game. I fixed it in a way. But anyway, this is a road that leaves between Vesting and the Crossroads in my infinite but terrible wisdom, I thought it would be a good idea just to have a long map where you just run from one side to the other. So let's just hurry this up. We're at the crossroads where, um, where Kismet and Ambrose had fought the, had fought the, fuck, what was its name? The Morty. <laughs> Ah, it's still alive. And it's still taking the form of a former graphic, uh, former version of Kismet. Of course, none of them will have recognized her. So even if this did look like the right character, they wouldn't have been able to tell. Of course, uh, Photo is out of scale, too. This is not a woman, damn it. The characters were all supposed to be falling over, but perhaps I just didn't have the character the appropriate sprites to show them doing it. In fact, notice that Annabelle's sprite changed as she hit the ground. <laughs>
Oh, God, I spelled survive wrong. Time for another boss battle against the Monster Man, the Morty. Another fight which is not going to be balanced very well, so let's just crush it. This is how you can know it's dead for good because we've collected its soul. There's no coming back from that.
Damn it, it happened again. Well, anyway, I didn't get a chance to really speak much about what was going on there. But even though Kismet tried to, in a way, change the course of the story, she was unable to. She fought the monster and she defeated it, but it wasn't dead. It was fated to die at the hands of Ansel, and it eventually did. But we're starting to see a little bit more of him. He is a tortured individual. Now, he's done a lot of bad things in his life. And he's trying, in a sense, to repent for the things that he's done. Yanis goes and says something to him. He says, I tried to... I tried to stay silent. Like, I saw you didn't take your sword with you. And in the gameplay, he's fighting unarmed. And eventually he will take up a sword and use that when the going gets tough enough. But he seems to be intentionally limiting himself for some reason. And it's because he doesn't want to kill anymore. He has spent an entire life being a murderer, being an assassin, and all that kind of stuff. And he feels like, I, I can't do that anymore. So... He thinks that some way just not taking his weapon, not fighting with a weapon anymore, might do something to make up for that. It's not much of a thought, though, if you ask me. He also finally reveals that he had that dream in the beginning of the game to somebody, that he saw something that might be the future, and he didn't really realize that. He didn't really think that until he saw Annabelle in that cave. But... There's something different that the character that he saw in the game is a very different woman to the person that he is seeing now in the flesh. The character in his dream was a much more caring, compassionate person. When that big fella died, she was upset about it. She tried bringing him back to life. This character, it's hard to believe she would be upset about anybody dying. In fact, she's multiple, twice now actually tried selling Ansel out to whoever it was that she thought might kill him and, and rid her of him. So it's a very different person, and he, started, he doesn't know what to make of her. He doesn't know how to reconcile the two different people, the two different versions of her that he's run into. Anyway, I gotta stop this and see if I can figure out what went wrong.